Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mike. I'm the founder and CEO of Sweet Dash. Welcome to episode two of the Starting From Zero video series, where the goal is to take you on the fastest path to build out a simple and effective portal for your organization. In this episode, we're going to start with a little CRM tour, and then we'll move on to customizing your portal. And by the end, you'll know how to completely white label every aspect of your portal so that only your brand is showing to your staff and clients. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so we're back here in this same account, logged in as the super admin. This is the same account that we started with in episode one. I've changed a few things here because the random name generator gave us a silly business name, White Pot Coffee. So I've changed that to Lolatte Coffee. And that's really easy to do. You can just click edit right here on the CRM dashboard, we call this. And you can find this easily from the list of companies, right? And we only have one, as we know, La Latte Coffee. And if you click here, you'll go right into the CRM dashboard for that company. And from here, you can execute all kinds of things. You can, of course, edit where we can upload this logo like we've done here. Let's go back. Okay, or we can just click quick edit and easily edit any of the data associated with the company. And also we can find data placeholders easily here. If there's data that you want to have quick access to, you can favorite that data. And this is also where all your custom fields will show after you add them down as you scroll, 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 you'll see custom fields, custom fields, custom fields. And from here you can import data, export data, etc. We call this dynamic data view. Additionally, from here, you can start taking notes just by typing here. You can access all the areas of the portal related to this particular company. You can set the coordinator, change the coordinator. You can trigger any automations directly from here. All of these are here for you to choose from. If you have one that you want to keep on top, you can just favorite that. You can favorite a couple of them if you want and drag and drop the order of which ones are on top. These are the ones that maybe you access the most. You can manage the profile from here. You can access any of these options. There's one important one here called impersonate, and this is one that you'll want to know about right away. You can also access it from here. So if I click impersonate right now, I'm going to instantly see the portal exactly as the latte coffee will. Okay, so I'm seeing it exactly as them, and you can see here, impersonating La Latte Coffee, and I can navigate now and move around, even operate as La Latte Coffee. So this is a way that you can quickly see what they will see without logging in in that incognito browser like we talked about. However, it is important that you understand that incognito browser concept because it's also applicable here. So to demonstrate, let me just log back out, and now I'm back as the admin. Okay, and I'm just going to open a page that only an admin should be able to see, and I'm going to open that in a new tab. Okay, so now this is a view that only an admin should be able to see. And now if I go back here and impersonate, I've changed the session to La Latte Coffee, and now the session is not set to me as an admin. And so what can happen if you have multiple tabs open across here, and in one of the tabs you impersonate, then you go to another tab and try to act as the admin, you might find this error, okay? When you hit this error, you should think, oh, I think I might be impersonating in another tab. Okay, so now let's go back. I'm gonna stop impersonating. Now I'm back. The session is back to me as the admin. And now I can go here and refresh. And guess what? Oh, okay, now I'm the admin again. So be careful of that when you're impersonating. But other than that, you can impersonate at any time. You can use all of these tools in the CRM dashboard. And then when you have multiple clients, you can easily change from one company to another, to another client, to another client, and stay right in this dashboard and operate with all these tools that are provided for you. Okay, so that concludes our little tour of the CRM and the CRM dashboard. But now let's look at the environment that we're seeing here. So we still have Sweet Dash logo. We still have Sweet Dash URL here. We haven't done any customization. We haven't done any white labeling and your clients are still seeing this very generic dashboard, which is designed to be this way for people who just start off and they just want to use the portal without a lot of customization. 
but if you want a customize and white label, we have gone to extremes to give you the most possible customization options, okay? And you're gonna find those here if you go to what we call the flyout menu, which is right here. And then you just look over here under the your branding section, okay? If you're the super admin, you will see this entire column here, platform branding, email branding, email templates, custom URL and login and custom menus. And behind these navigation items are all the options that you need to execute white labeling throughout the platform. So let's navigate to them quickly and just do a quick scroll through. I'm not gonna go through this step by step because we have videos for each one of these sections that will help you understand how to use them, when to use one option and when to use another option, etc. So get email templates. Here's all the email templates for all the emails sent from the platform. You can customize all of these. This is the custom URL section where you're going to learn how to customize this URL, this base URL, and then your portal will operate under your custom URL. We've even given you white label C names so that if someone is investigating your portal, they won't even see the word sweet dash. You'll see how this works when you set everything up. Here's a video embedded right here. And custom menus is designed for you to completely customize which menu items your clients or freelancers or anyone in your organization will see. You can even base the visibility on circle affiliation, which we'll get into in a later episode. So all these options give you super powerful ways to customize the platform to be exactly as you need it to be for your organization. You can choose colors. You can start with these colors. You can uh, go off in your own direction. There are just lots of ways in unlimited options for customizing all the way down to the font the background image you can set a custom loader that replaces the loader that we have in the platform by default so you can even use your own logo as the loader so the options are quite impressive now how do you figure out how to use them let's go here and i'm going to introduce you to sweet dash academy so you will see under my account if you go to academy and click academy a new tab will open and you will be auto logged in to Sweet Dash Academy. Let's go ahead and click allow here. This is just for notifications from the platform. And you can click either one of these thumbnails to enter these particular series, or you can click learn here. And from here, you're experiencing the LMS in Sweet Dash. So we are teaching you how to use Sweet Dash using Sweet Dash. So the offerings here might change over time. You might see new courses. You might see new options. But the one you're going to want to look at is right here, SAT Series Season 1. And here under White Label 101, let's go ahead and just go to Platform Branding. Now you'll open up this accordion, and here's a video that walks through 17 minutes of Platform Branding step by step by step by step. Additionally, here's Email Branding. Again, another video email templates, custom URL. This one's really, really key for those of you who are not 100% sure how all this custom URL and DNS works. This one is a very patient and diagrammed and explained walkthrough. So there's no reason that anyone should have any questions if they're watching this video. If you know how to do it already, you don't need this maybe. But for those of you who are starting and this is a little bit of a mystery to you, I really enjoyed explaining step by step how all these things work and I think you'll really benefit from it. So yes, I hope it's helpful. Okay, so this is how you're gonna white label your platform. If you already know how to do it, then by all means just start with platform branding, email branding, custom URL. Again, it's all right here. If you don't know how to do it, then just click to the academy and follow the path that I just showed and you should be able to follow these videos and get your platform completely white label branded. Okay, so that'll do it for this episode. We will see you in the next episode where we will talk more about dashboards. Thanks everyone. See you.